Well, this is Steve Ridgell, and I've spent a lot of time over the last couple of weeks with someone who's in their last days and weeks, and I've been helping them try to do some relationship repair. They've got siblings and friends and people they used to be close to that they've been estranged from. Now, there's a lot of problems in that family, and there's a lot of dysfunction, and he, he did a lot of damage, and other people did a lot of damage that affected him, and a lot of damage to him. I mean, there's, there's plenty of blame and lots of sin to go around, as there is in most families. But in, in watching him try to repair some relationships and, and try to extend forgiveness in some cases and try to ask for forgiveness in some cases, I, I've been watching that. And, of course, we just had Father's Day not too long ago, and I talked to some fathers who, well, they don't have a good relationship with their kids, and they wish they did. And so I've been thinking a lot about restoring relationships. So uh, let me just tell you a couple of things. If, if you want to try to start to repair a relationship, let me tell you a couple of things you can do. And, and they all involve communication, and, and I know that's hard. It's hard, if you've been the one that was deeply wounded, to reach out and try to establish any kind of relationship. It, it's hard if you've been the one deeply wounded and someone reaches out to you. Forgiveness is hard. And, and really, because I, I come out of a Christian perspective, I'm talking to Christians, and so you've got to work through some of that. But I also know how hard it is if you're the one that did the damage. It's hard to say to someone, I'm really sorry for what I did. And, and know that sometimes that's not going to be received well or ignored. or Man, it's just hard to repair relationships. But God's the great healer of things. So let me tell you a couple of things you might want to communicate. One is, if you've changed, you might want to start with that. An a, a email or a note or a, a message, maybe you might even try a phone call, but, but even a, a non-threatening communication like a text or an email that says, you know, I want you to know that I'm not the person I used to be. I found Jesus, or I was just baptized, or I've come back to Jesus. Or I, I got a diagnosis from the doctor, and I think I'm dying, and it made me think about all the things I regret. And I want you to know I'm trying to be a better person. Now, that's a long way from an apology or a confession, but at least to let someone know that you're acknowledging I wasn't who I should have been and I want to do better. Maybe that's all you can manage now. Maybe that's all they can hear. But sometimes at least that's a start for someone to say at least they know they weren't good and they're trying to be better. Maybe you want to do what I call the generic apology. You know, I, I don't know, some people don't like this, but I know people that have started their reestablishment of relationships this way. You know, I wasn't as good a son, or I wasn't as good a mom as I should have been, or I wish I had done a better job with you. I wish I had been, okay, that's at least some kind of acknowledgement that I know I wasn't what I should have been, and I'm sorry for that. It, much better if you follow that. I know I wasn't with and I'm sorry about that. I wish I could go back and do better at that. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be a better mom now than I ever was when you were growing up. Or I'm trying to be a better son or whatever the issue is. I wish I'd been a better husband. Or whatever the discussion is. Sometimes that's the way to start. And finally you can do the specific apology. I'm sorry for when I did. And I wish I could change that. You know, so anything that says, I'm sorry, I'm trying to do better, I am doing better, maybe that's a start. So when you're on your deathbed, you'll have already gone a long way to doing some repair and relationships. And maybe next Father's Day, you'll have a child sitting by you. Or next Mother's Day, your child will be, you'll be sitting by your mom. So I don't know, relationships are tough, but God specializes in the healing of things. And God can heal relationships. I have seen it in my life, in my family's life, and in boy, lots of people, and even in my friend who's uh, about to, to be through with this life. I've seen some real healing and forgiveness take place. And sometimes all it takes is I'm sorry, and you're forgiven. So God bless in your relationships, and uh, let's really work hard to not rupture them in the future.